Hey y'all, it's going is Ikello here. So today I am doing a full review of the Harman Kardon Onyx Studio 5 portable speaker. Uh, so I will be telling you the good, the bad and everything else you need to take note of before you purchase these. So without wasting much time, let's begin. So the first thing you are going to notice is that the design has changed completely. The ugly legs which were on the Onyx Studio 4 down to the Onyx Studio 1, that has been removed. Thank goodness. I wasn't a fan of those legs because they were very ugly and there was no way for you to like detach them or fold them up. So that made it kind of difficult for you to put it in a bag. But now you can easily fit these in a bag. As you can see the legs are not there any longer. Uh, underneath it's got a rubber grip here. To keep it very firm and sturdy on the table so once you place it on the table it's not going to shake and it now has a thick metal handle at the top for you to carry it around easily uh, which is really really good uh, you've still got the woven fabric both at the front and at the back that hasn't changed at all so for button placement you've got your bluetooth connect button you have your volume rocker buttons and then you have your power button in the middle and then you have your play and pause button as well the connect plus feature is not on the Harman Kardon Onyx Studio 5 Yes, I just don't know why Herman Kardon decided to drop it. But you can pair these up with another Onyx Studio 5. But you cannot pair these up with JBL or any other Herman Kardon speaker. I just don't know why they chose to remove it. And you have your Herman Kardon logo here at the front. Then turning it over to the back, as you can see, there still isn't any USB port for charging devices. Yes, you cannot charge devices externally with these. Uh, the grills, I don't know if you can take them off. I've tried taking them off. It's like Herman Kardon held them very firmly. It just won't come off. Well, looking at the overall styling, it might not be for everyone. Uh, you might like it, you might not. But me personally, I'm pretty okay with it. Another thing for you to take note of is that there is no stereo pairing on these. Yep, I thought you could do that, but I was wrong. Yes, no stereo pairing. You can pair these up with another Onyx Studio 5. But you're going to have just two monos playing yeah, for a more fuller sound. But you're not going to get a left and right channel. So you have to bear that in mind. So no stereo. One thing I felt Herman Kardon should have done is that they should have illuminated the buttons. On the previous Onyx uh, series, the buttons here were illuminated. But on the Herman Kardon Onyx Studio 5, the buttons are not illuminated. Yeah, it's kind of difficult uh, finding the buttons, especially at night if you have the light turned off. It makes it very difficult finding the buttons. It's got a mono sound signature because it's only got one Twitter. It doesn't have two Twitters. I just don't know why Herman Cannon did not include two Twitters. That would have really helped with stereo separation and a better treble and vocals. But Herman Cannon decided to go with one Twitter. I just don't know why. The Herman Cannon Go Play might have better stereo separation. But these cut lots of bass. I think the bass on these is slightly sweeter to the ears. In comparison to the docking, they find the sound, so the sound is slightly muffled. That's what I noticed on these. You can still hear the vocals pretty clearly, but it's not as sparkling as that on the docking define. But as most of you know, the treble on the docking define plus can be a little bit harsh. Yeah, too harsh at max volumes. What you are going to get is lots of bass. So the bass on these, it's absolutely fantastic. The treble and the vocals are pretty, you know, present. You hear them clearly, quite clearly. The treble is slightly recessed, especially at low volumes, below 50%, the treble is slightly recessed. Uh, what you hear is more of the low bass, the bass, how it disperses around. You hear that boomy, slightly boomy bass. It's boomy, uh, but it spreads, you know, when you hear it, it's like boom, boom. That is how it sounds. Uh, so it's pretty impressive. It all boils down to a personal preference. Some of you might like it, some of you might not. Yeah. But all the same, for the price point, you cannot go wrong with this. To me, I think this is one of the few speakers that impressed me this year. Yeah, if not the first speaker that really impressed me this year. Uh, like I said during the unboxing, I pointed out that uh, the JBL Extreme 2, uh, the Docking Define Plus, uh, they didn't really impress me that much like this. Uh, the overall sound is full. It has this full bodied sound. You have a very rich bass that is dispersed all around the room. You're going to feel the boom. You know, when the bass drops, it's going to spread around the whole room. It's absolutely fantastic. Uh, but some might find it a little bit too bassy if you're listening to it at night, especially at low volumes. You might not really be comfortable with the sound signature because uh, it's quite bassy. So you have to bear that in mind. Another thing for you to bear in mind is that once you plug these in, it gets pretty louder. Yes, 
uh, I think it plays at maybe 30 or 40 watts on battery. But once you plug it in, it now uses the full 50 watts. So you're going to hear the sound will be much more punchier. The bass will be much more punchy, vibrant, and it gets a more fuller sound as opposed to when it's running on battery. But once you plug these in and crank up the volume to like 50%, you're going to feel the bass. It really, really packs a punch, trust me. So if you're already put off by the design, my advice would be for you to try it out for yourself. Another thing for you to take note of is that this is very heavy. It weighs much more than the previous generation Onyx Studio speakers. If you watched my unboxing video, you'll notice that once I took it out of the box, I was like, wow, this thing is damn heavy. So it's quite heavier than the previous generation Onyx series. But one thing I noticed is that it just won't pair up with my iPhone XS Max. I just don't know why. I've tried to pair it up, tried everything I can. It just won't pair up. I don't know why. So I've been playing music using my iPhone 6 Plus. Now coming to battery life, uh, battery life is just average, about average. On max volumes, I was getting like 2 hours, 10 minutes at max volumes uh, from a single charge. So you have to take note of that. If you are going to be playing this outdoors a lot, you are not going to get much battery life out of it. Uh, but if you'll be playing anything from 50%, you'll get like maybe I think 6 hours there about, 6-7 hours. But at max, trust me, you're getting just 2 hours from this. 2 hours, 10 minutes, that's the max you are going to get from this. From my testing, that is what I got. Because on this, Haman Kardon claims you get 8 hours from a single charge. Which is pretty the same with the previous generations. So which is a bit of a shame, but it's what it is. I just don't know why Haman Kardon did not increase the battery life. They should have increased it to like maybe 10-12 hours from a single charge. Uh, but overall, nice, great sounding speaker. One of the best sounding speakers I've heard in 2018, period. Yes, you heard me right. So I highly, highly recommend this speaker. So if you'll be playing this mostly indoors and maybe occasionally you just take it outdoors to your garden, this is the speaker to get. Yes, you heard me right in 2018. The sound quality is absolutely amazing. For the price point, for the size, it's pretty impressive. So as always, I will be throwing links down in the description section for you if you want to purchase these. Feel free to check out other nifty gadgets on this channel. And if you haven't subscribed, click the red subscribe button and the bell icon and you will always be notified each time I upload a new video. I am Ezekiel and I'll talk to you in the next video. Adios.